In this video we'll look at the pavement management attributes and um, their application to uh, snippets uh, used in a road widening and overlay. Here we've got a typical uh, overlay and widening job, uh, decisionals to um, work out uh, table drains and so forth. Uh, in this job here we've got a, an alias for the approach um, part of the uh, overlay and then a departure. In between those two is a full road reconstruction. So again we set up some um, uh, name grades and those name grades specify the, uh, the slope on the road and also on the batter. So again it's just a uh, fixed name grade. In this case here we're just picking up a, a static value uh, and also for the batter slope uh, in, if they're used in the uh, snippets at a later stage. So here we're just in the um, uh, profiled area of the full road reconstruction. Um, so uh, we'll turn on the snippet for that. So it's using the um, aliases to define where this uh, particular snippet is being applied. Um, so again we're looking at our styles. So under here we have a uh, reference style for widening um, and we're looking at um, uh, the pavement only as well and also pavement batter. So under pavement batter uh, we've got a, a zone for reconstruction, uh, one for um, uh, AC only and another one for, for the widening pavement. Um, so depending on uh, for the full road reconstruction uh, we're going to use this one here. So it's reference style 1, uh, zone 1. So the um, the snippet that you use is a, uh, is a is a batter one, so it automatically knows to get the uh, profile uh, from the pavement batter area. So we're looking at the um, uh, reference style and zone number. Um, then the uh, with the end of the approach and the start of the departure, uh, we're also looking at the starting from the reference line for, for the full road reconstruction, and uh, we're picking up the edges shoulder string here. Uh, in links, we're just using the links option to define the batter and specifying a string created in our decisionals uh, for the uh, cut and fill area. So apply that and run. We've now got our pavement. Um, so um, again, reference to here and then, then daylights and intersects with the, the uh, batter slope. Um, the bottom surface mode uses the start and end points. Uh, that you specify here, but if you were doing a uh, a, uh, a row where the uh, cross fault at the top was different, you can specify a different name grade for the bottom. So we now step back through to the um, widening part of it. We'll just look at the uh, the approach part. So for the approach part, we're looking at a um, a uh, cutback string. So again, if we add in the cutback strings, we've got a cutback string here and one there. So we're going to put our pavement AC surface through the the, um, uh, the through the approach and hang our pavement off the cutback string down the bottom here. Again, the first one is the um, uh, pavement for the uh, AC, AC only. Again, that forms a surface there, which is just the AC surface on its own. We now wish to do the one, so it's just using reference and edge of shoulder. We now want to do this one here, which is the um, the intricate part. So I turn that on. Right, so it's using the um, uh, reference style one, but zone three, which is a different type pavement compared to the full road reconstruction. Um, we're picking up the, the uh, start mode. Instead of reference, we're picking 3D cut of string. So we're selecting this string here, okay, and that's where the paper's going to hang off. Uh, we're also then defining the uh, shoulder. Again, it's by the design string edge of shoulder and also a links uh, to define that batter. And there's our pavement. So when you're using the, the um, uh, links option, um, it automatically does a cutoff wall at the uh, bottom point of the um, 
uh, battle link that you chose here um, and in that case here we've got the the, the, the overlay um, there are choices here for uh, different ways of doing this sometimes you might want that the uh, the um, widening here to be up on the design surface uh, but still using the string as its offset so in that case you would select uh, 2d uh, cut of string and height from design so there's all different uh, varieties of choices uh, as a start mode so the bit that's missing from the overlay and widening part now is the infill and we do have strings, the strings created by the um, the uh, tri meshes and things like that here so we've got strings uh, for there, strings for this pavement here as well um, so just a matter of um, basically selecting the strings that you want uh, so you have one string here, another one there, one through the middle back through there and over through to there so that's a um, uh, picking individual strings so in our case here if I go to my uh, mesh so the strings added in are all created and they're all given unique names so if I select on the AC there's a string there it's on a WC50 layer it's point number Z on the left hand side and uh, belongs to road RSWID uh, and has a, uh, a suffix called approach to so it's uh, got enough information to define the string itself so they're the strings that you will pick when you're creating the uh, the corrector surface in, the, in, in between the two surfaces um, so in that case it's called a, um, a try multipoint infill um, it doesn't link to the um, to the uh, attributes I, I, as such it's just picking strings created from those attributes so there's a, 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 a three to six allowed um, and you simply just go and pick them from the screen all the ones created by the um, uh, attributes are all in a layer called pavement and the other was a combination of a design and a cutback so we add in our mesh pavement again and we're looking at the corrector surface so for the right hand side of the road here uh, we may go back and profile our full road reconstruction and for the right hand side of the road there we've got something uh, a little bit different um, so in that case here we've got a uh, we want to be able to do a, um, a pavement uh, similar to this one here uh, but we then want to be able to do uh, some stepping in the pavement and also then to do a, a verge infill um, so there's a uh, in that case there's a little bit uh, different uh, than just a straight out uh, daylighting uh, so we utilize the pavement only and an, uh, an option called verge only uh, to finish off that process um, so if I bring up the, the pavement only and turn that on so basically it's, it's picking up reference style 1 again and zone number 1 uh, it's picking up the um, the reference string uh, as the um, start point and the edge of shoulder um, and a, a, again it's a it's a pavement only um, so it allows you to uh, uh, apply the stepping um, so if I go apply we have this sort of pavement um, so uh, in that case they were looking at uh, doing our our uh, verge infill uh, laid over the top of this of this stepping uh, pavement so in that case here's a special one that's linked to the to the um, uh, uh, pavement only but does the opposite as, as in the verge infill so again ask you similar things that ask you for the uh, CE string edge of shoulder um, and also uh, we're uh, utilizing a a cutoff drain here um, so that that way it allows you to to uh, specify a slope and the slope at the uh, is the slope at the batter and it's a name grade that I specified before called batter right hand side again when you're utilizing these um, uh, snippets and there's several of the same ones 
uh, utilising uh, similar names. It's always good to introduce an, 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 the alias here uh, each time you use one. So you end up with individual string names, individual um, uh, trimesh names, uh, but they're all on the same model. So this allows you to specify a, a slope here, which is the end slope link, which is the uh, batter, and uh, the, the uh, start one is just simply vertical. Um, so this is the, um, the option we referred to before as our automatic cutoff. So in that case here I've picked up the uh, inverted drain on the design layer uh, to produce a cutoff at that drain surface for the uh, verge uh, infill. Again for the, for the approach to part, um, if we look at our F2 we use the, the 12D inquiry and we select that we can see that it's uh, reference style 1, zone number 3. So I've got some other strings there on a, uh, the uh, mesh layer. So if I'm looking for pavement batter, then we're again looking at the widening, zone number three. So here we've got the actual um, uh, the strings turned on to create sub subsurface strings. So if I take off the strings created by the normal mesh and I add in the submesh strings. These are the strings that are picked up and created by the, the actual um, uh, attributes. Um, so again under the user beta pavement there's an option called sub subgrade create tin. And that particular one I can select widening subgrade. So it picks up the, the reference strings, picks up the model uh, which is called sub pavement sub base approach and uh, it will then create the triangulated surface for you. So if I add in sub base again it's a sub base pavement with the word tin after it. And there's a tin surface created. So again it's a combination of uh, how many of those tins you want um, if you have pavement on the other side, it will then automatically jump up and go across and create pavement over there. Um, so again, with that option, um, under user beta pavement, subgrade, you're also able to, um, if you end up with a, a lot of these tins, you can um, uh, combine them all. So if you have one on this side of the road, one here, and so forth, you can create them all into just one tin by ticking this box on here and giving it a, a appropriate suffix name like subgrade all. Similarly for a widening, it might not necessarily be an overlay rule type widening. You also can have widenings for a curb road. In that case here you might have a mass existing road but you're just doing a widening out here. Um, so then we've latched onto the uh, cutback string um, in a, on, a, on our design surface and everything hangs off that. So it's the same process again, just simply going through specifying your um, uh, your pavement type and then being able to specify the, the, the curb strings and latching onto a, a 2D string. In this case here it's a CBL string uh, which would be a string that I uh, created in my design uh, sitting on top of that uh, survey cutback string. To finish off with this is our perspective view uh, showing the um, um, overlay and widening part and um, uh, on the right hand side we're looking at the uh, step pavement uh, with the verge uh, infill. Volumes are available under design volumes trimesh. You can do a total report on all the trimeshes or you can do trimesh volumes along a string report. Thank you.